but it's always the script. So the, the script is always uh, the key. Um, and if you take five to ten years to develop a script, it, um, when I uh, the first when I first got the idea to make the film it was in 1998. I didn't actually make it to 2008. It took me ten years to make it. So um, you know uh, the idea was. Um, je- Gestating, gestating in my head for over 10 years, you know, and I'd find a writer who could help me um, realize the script. So I think um, script always, always key. Not, not just a story, you can have a story, but you need to write the script with pen and paper. And, um, so yeah. What about, what about uh, getting the actors and actresses? Do you have any problems? Actors and actresses are not so much such a problem because I've been working with industry for 20 years. Because we stalk him <laughs> and we wait for him to say, you know, yes. <laughs> we, 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 we manipulate him and then we are always like, can I, can, do you think I can play this role? <laughs> But obviously, uh, after after um, writing up, coming out of the script, uh, financing is always a big problem, especially in Singapore because we're a very small market, you know, and our market is so complicated because there's so many different languages. So what what language do you make your film in, you know? Um, so yeah, those are those are usually the, the same problems that we encounter. Yeah. Hi, good. Hi. First off, I just like to say, back when the Pokemon film first came out, it's really I, I was a bit younger back then, but the memory of uh, the impact you had on the family group. One of our uh, family friends, is, uh, don't quote me on this, is the head of some microsystem who was a huge disco nut when he was young. <laughs> so after we watched their show, tell you for, for almost a year and a half, everyone was doing this show. Really? Oh, thank you. So I just still remember everyone was wearing the side clothes that they used to wear when they were kids and going to all these uh, disco nights on the weekend. Oh, fantastic. Great, thank you. Okay. Uh, we still do it today. <laughs> <laughs> it's Glenn's house. <laughs> With our tight clothes. <laughs> uh, um, actually, well, well, since, since you mentioned it, I will also reveal to this is a special audience, and no one else knows this, but I, I'm actually planning a stage version of Royal Fever, um, <laughs> which will come out in uh, 2013 um, June. So look out for it in 20 months' time. 20 months' time? Yeah, in, in, in about, no, no, in 24 months. In two years' time, uh, watch out for the stage version of Royal Fever. My, my main question was to ask, yeah. when you make these movies, since so the to be directed to a very Singaporean audience, do you feel that there's need for yourself enough as an artist to, to, to reach the global market or is it, you know, do you just want to focus on the story of the um, I think, I think, I, I, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not a film, film producer, I'm not a real film producer, I don't produce films to make money. Um, so I don't approach films from that angle point of view. Of course I would love my films to be shown to as many countries in the world. Um, and what I do is I make sure that my films are universal, the story has a universal appeal. So although probably Viva is English, for example, I think most families or, or, or most people around the world who identify with the same problems, with, with those issues. So I try to, to make my films as universal as possible in that sense. But as to whether I should have kept forever even in English or I should make it proper English, no, I have to keep it in its authentic language because that's my Singapore and I have to be authentic to, to myself ultimately because I had, I had to, you know, yeah, I, I, I had to make sure that um, I, I, I keep to my integrity, otherwise I can't speak at night. You know, as, as an artist. Oh, yeah, similarly, the Drew mentioned people ask me, why can not I make it in Chinese? to get, reach a larger audience. But if the Blue Mansion is about the elite in Singapore, well, the elite in Singapore speak English, and they speak English the way they do in the film. So, again, I have to be truthful, you know, uh, you know, maybe if I made it in Chinese, it would reach a larger audience, and, if, you know, I could have made a bit more money, but, you know, ultimately, I have to be truthful to myself, and, and to that work of art, which is why I, I keep saying that, you know, artists, we really have a huge responsibility to it's our integrity. Yeah. Um, in terms of practicality, though, for the young, young artists who wish to break into this, but need to make money at the same time, right. what do you think? Well, Should they breach their integrity just to be able to feed themselves? Well, no, I, I mean, I, 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 I do a lot of other jobs other than filmmaking. Um, 
you know, I, 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 I do jobs which help me pay the bills. Um, you know, but when I make sure I put out something like this, because the film is going to last forever, and I don't know who's going to watch it, this is a scary thing about film, you don't know who's going to watch it, so you better make sure you, you know, you do it integrity. Um, and, and so I, I, I do do other work, um, which pays the bills, doesn't pay anything to the bills, so that I can create work which still naturally pay the bills. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, there'll be uh, this uh, event called Screen Singapore coming uh, yeah. next week. Yes. Uh, what do you think about it? Yeah. Do you think Wait that the money? <laughs> <laughs> do you think that you know, we start an event going on the first time in Singapore? Do you think that it will encourage more filmmakers coming out from Singapore? And will you be attending that event? No, and no, and no. <laughs> <laughs> no, because you know, it, it, we already had a, a film festival in Singapore, which showed a lot of films. I know the Screen Singapore is not meant to be a film festival. It's meant to be a screen market. But you know, um, um, I, I, I'm, I'm not sure. I, I, I'm sorry. I, I, I'm not going to say any more. But except that I'm not going to be attending it. And no, I don't think it's going to encourage more filmmakers to make films because um, you know the, the money should be going to to filmmakers. And there are a lot of filmmakers in Singapore. Singaporean filmmakers. Yes, people who need the money. But eight million dollars will be spent on this ten-day event, which could be given to filmmakers to make films. Um, you know, so I, 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 I'm not, you know, they've been spending millions um, over the past five, eight years in Cannes. You know, every year we have a, a huge delegation from MDA or from uh, SFC and they put up a marquee on the beach and they spend a lot of money and like, you know, what's come out of it, I, I, I don't know. Um, but a lot of artists are struggling in Singapore they, they, to make ends meet and a lot of them, and a lot of parents actually sponsor a lot of these filmmakers. So actually, you know, I salute all parents um, who really sponsor the arts, who are really the patrons of the arts. Yeah. Thank you. I'm totally with you on that. Lenny, totally with you on that. I, I'm also very happy that he didn't make Blue Mansion in Mandarin because my Mandarin is shit and I wouldn't have been a part of it. <laughs> I would like to close off this wonderful question and answer because I've been given a cue. It's been going on so well, but I'd like to close off with a few questions that um, that will hopefully allow this beautiful audience to get to know this beautiful man a little bit better. Questions about Glenn Reed, the man. What was the first thing you thought about this morning, Glenn? <laughs> what was the first thing you thought about this morning? Don't look at my question. Too rude to say. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think I think cannot la. <laughs> That in itself tells you a little bit about Glenn. <laughs> what was your last dream about Glenn Gray? My last dream, honestly, I dreamt I was going to be late for this, for this <laughs> meeting. That's why I came very early. <laughs> and actually, I think all all all. You know, I couldn't see all night because I kept waking me up thinking, oh my god, I'm going to be late, I'm going to be late, I'm going to be late. Yeah. So that was what I was dreaming of last night. Finally, um, <laughs> I strongly urge you, whether or not you've seen any of these movies or not seen any of these movies, to buy this DVD uh, box set. It is an extremely affordable um, box set. Uh, to, to get. You can get it right here at Kinokuniya and um, even if you don't decide today and you decide later, uh, you, you can also get it uh, at, at the website. Uh, there's also a Facebook group, many ways to get it. Uh, I, I strongly urge you uh, to get it and to watch both movies. And one final thing then, while they're watching the movies, what is it that you would like them to think about? Mm. Yeah. While they are watching, <laughs> other than enjoying it, mm. so not think about anything and keep an open mind. Well, you know, I, as I said, you know, as you mentioned, it's very much my own personal record of what Skin Boy is today. So, you know, as, as you're watching it, you know, you know, you, you might be reminded of your own family because really, uh, family is a very universal theme. Um, and you know, the, obviously, as a filmmaker, I, I had to draw my own family experiences to make the film. But all, but um, on a on a deeper level, obviously, the film is about Singapore. It's about Singapore, and um, the, the family and the mansion itself is a metaphor for Singapore. And 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 with that in mind, you know, it, it might. Uh, have
help you to uh, maybe engage or connect a bit, bit more when you see the film. It can be quite cheap otherwise. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, Glenn Green, thank you very much for coming. I believe Kino Kuri